Oklahoma Senate has overruled Governor Kevin Stitt's vetoes of two bills that would extend existing agreements with Native American tribes for another year. News 12's Hannah Gonzalez is in the studio and breaks down these bills and the ongoing dispute between the tribes, including the Choctaw Nation and Governor Stitt. Hannah, so what does all of this mean? Yeah, Brendan, Jeff, for tribes in Oklahoma, this gives them an extra year. And for Chief Gary Batten of the Choctaw Nation, this gives him hope. I spoke with him shortly after the overruling. Here's what he had to say. There will always be tomorrow, so there will always be hope for an opportunity to have these discussions. Now, am I skeptical? Yes, I'm very skeptical because trust has been broken. Back in May, Governor Stitt vetoed House Bill 1005 and Senate Bill 26. House Bill 1005 extends motor vehicle tax through the end of 2024. Senate Bill 26 also extends tribal compacts dealing with taxes on tobacco through 2024. Stitt says he's okay with the 50-50 share of tobacco tax revenues, but wants to limit the term Indian country, which to him is too broad. There's jurisdiction and then there's land base. Just because the state of Oklahoma has jurisdiction does not mean they own all of the land in the state of Oklahoma. Just because we have jurisdiction does not mean we own all the property. It just means we have jurisdiction over our tribal members. Monday, the state Senate vote overrode both vetoes. In a statement, Stitt says, I am trying to protect Eastern Oklahoma from turning into a reservation, and I've been working to ensure these compacts are the best deal for all 4 million Oklahomans. Unfortunately, the Senate seems to disagree and use an illegitimate process to do so. He still has the ability to negotiate the compact. So it's a matter of fact, it just extends it for another year. So we will continue to work with the governor as we go throughout this coming year to hopefully get, a, again, a successful compact for the both of us. But if these compacts aren't renewed or negotiated. Senator Treat talked about all tribes this morning. If we lose this, the state of Oklahoma will lose $53 million for the state. And so I don't see how that really benefits all 4 million Oklahomans. Chief Batten says for the Choctaw Nation alone, without a renewal, the nation would have to pay $8 million to the state. Chef.